So quite possibly one of the most common questions we ever get here on the channel is, how do you get these metrics to show up on my screen? Fear not, because I'm about to show you how. All right, so basically this is it. We use MSI Afterburner. It's a very useful utility, and we'll leave a link down in the description below so that you can find it yourself if this is something you want to see yourself use on your own devices. But all you got to do is go to their msi.com forward slash page slash Afterburner site and hit the download section here. You're gonna have four options. You're gonna have MSI Afterburner, Afterburner with Android, and a remote server as well as Combustor. What you want is MSI Afterburner. Now we've already downloaded it and extracted it, so that's where you're gonna to wanna to go here and install it. Now when you install it, make sure that you install a Reva Tuner or else you're not gonna be able to do this. And I'll show you why. So down here in your taskbar is where you're gonna find everything. So you've got MSI Afterburner, and this is Reva Tuner Statistics Server. You're gonna need this and I'm gonna show you in just a second why. But you're gonna start off over here on the settings tab and you're gonna make sure you go to monitoring and you're going to go through here in each option that you get. So you got frame rate. See here we've got uh, frame rate, we've got it checked, frame rate, and it shows an OSD. If it doesn't show an OSD, all you have to do is go down here and select show on screen display. Now you're gonna get three different options. You're gonna be able to do a text graph or a text plus graph. Frame rate's the only one that I like text plus graph because all of the rest of these, you'll have a bunch of graphs all on your screen and it's just gonna jumble things up. But you see I've got GPU temperature showing, usage, memory usage, core clock, and memory clock. I'm gonna actually, you can move these around, which is kind of fun. So I can put the core clock right here behind or right here behind the frame rate. So it's up here. So I've got the memory together and the GPU core temperature, yada, yada together. Now you can monitor more than that. You can see the fan speed as well as CPU usage for each core and thread. I've just got it showing the overall usage so that I know just what kind of CPU usage as a whole that I'm getting. Now, if I wanted to go in, I could click that and see each one. That's just something useful. Again, fan speed, frame times. You can look at your frame timing and then that's about it. So uh, again, but what you wanna do is once you've got that all configured at what you want to monitor, you can see it all here as before you go in the game. Now you can go over here and select, uh, do you want it to be the frame buffer, the viewport, for the viewport, uh, on-screen display, yes. This is to start with Windows and whether you want it to show it or not. Now you can also do a frame rate limit, which is useful if you want to do something like that. But right down here, you can adjust the, adjust the size, which is really fun to be able to do that. And you can adjust the color as well. So we want to change it to an orange right there. So you got an, a shadow and you can do display fill or not. So we're going to leave fill off since we got a shadow. Now let's pull the game back up and take a look at it. So here we are in Sea of Thieves. Now I did Sea of Thieves because it's easy to minimize and go right back into the game. But you can see here in the top left hand corner, of course, with uh, Relive recording over it, it'll show the API version. Now this does support Vulkan as well as OpenGL, so you can do DX11, 12, Vulkan, and OpenGL, which is cool. It'll show, so you can see the GPU clock speeds, the temperature, the percentage being used. You see all of those information as well as a nice frame rate graph. So, you know, that's really all there is to it. So I'm gonna go and sail around and continue doing absolutely nothing in this game because there's really not a whole lot to do. So hope you guys learned something today. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV and we'll catch you in the next video.